Hi everybody! I um, have been talking about how I'm working on um, a series of embellishments to coordinate with this vintage Amour paper. And so far I have shown you how to make these little crocheted medallions. And I had a tutorial on how to make these little shaker cards using a Michael stamp. So I'm going to show you a few more things that I've done with um, some of my Michael stamps and the Studio G stamps that I um, got that I put on that haul video. So one of the things I often do when I'm getting ready to make some embellishments is I will take whatever stamps I have and I will just stamp up like two or three sheets of um, images and then I just cut them out. So um, you can see I've made a series of envelope embellishments because to me that speaks to Valentine's Day, the envelopes. And um, I just stamped up, I used Stampin' Up ink, I used Rose Red and Pool Party and Blushing Bride I think and then also this I used some of my Tim Holtz Distress ink. And I just stamped up hearts and um, keys and sayings and little tags and just a bunch of that stuff from the Studio G stamps. And if you want to see all of those images that you can get right now for 50 cents per set at Craft Warehouse, they're on sale. Um, you can go um, look at my haul video from a couple of days ago. But then I wanted to make an envelope and right now um, due to a multiplicity of circumstances I am living in my sister's home and all of my craft stuff is in storage and I'm having to contend with her craft room which is supplied much differently than mine. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm doing a lot of fussy cutting and things like that because I don't have my silhouette and I don't have a lot of things that I usually have available to me but that's okay because that's the way life is sometimes and you just make lemonade, right? So anyway, I found this template on the internet for free. I don't know if you can see it. I just printed it on my computer and then I pasted it to a piece of Stampin' Up! cardstock and cut it out and then it became something I could easily trace. Um, so for these um, little envelope um, embellishments, I just took the Vintage and More paper and I traced little envelopes on the Vintage Amour paper. These are so adorable. I can't believe how cute they came out. Anyway, and then I just took my images that I did and I just did a multiplicity of things to these. I mean, um, I have some crackle medium that I got at the art supply store. Um, a lot of times you can get um, the same kind of effects with that you get with Ranger products from things that you get from the art supply store, but they're cheap cheaper cheaper so um, and since I am on a fairly limited budget that cheaper is good for me so I got this one step crackle meeting from medium from deco art at my local art supply store I think this was like two dollars three dollars somewhere in there not terribly expensive and it gives you that crackle look that you see on that little key heart so I crackled it and then I rubbed in some ink and then I don't have a wink of Stella pin that people keep talking about, but I do have one of these. No, that's a glue pin. That's not a Stardust pin, a Sakura Stardust pin. They came out with those, um, I don't know, three or four years ago. Well, I don't know where it's gone. But anyway, it looks a bit like this, except for it's not a glue pin, it's a Sakura Stardust pin. And you get two in a package for, I think, three fifty or $4. And it does give you that, I don't know if you can see that hard as, see if I can this heart has it on it this one it's sparkly let me see uh, there we go there you can see the sparkle so I did that and I put glossy accents on this little key although another good tip you can get a product called triple thick this bottle costs about the same as your average glossy accents bottle and as you can see it's eight ounces this is going to last me a lifetime this comes out the same as glossy accents you do have to paint it on with a little paintbrush and then of course um let it dry um 
but it gives you the same effect for a third of the cost. And then um, that's just a little strip of paper I stamped that greeting on and that came out of, these are all Studio G stamps, all of them are the really cheap Studio G stamps. And then um, I just made a little thing. And then this um, fiber is something called Scrapper's Floss that my sister has in her collection. It's maybe five years old and she hadn't used it, so I've been using it. Um, here's the same kind of concept, little card. This is some um, seam binding. I got that at the thrift store. And this one is glossy accented. And this one, I did use that glue pin that I showed you, that Sakura glue pin. These also come two to a package for like three bucks. These are really cool. I love these. Um, and then I just dropped glitter on that little key. Um, this one, I painted this heart with a uh, homemade Lumiere paint and all, I don't know if you guys know what Lumiere paint, it's made by the same people who make Perlex. It's basically an acrylic paint with Perlex in it. All I did was I had gotten some, oh I don't have it in here, it's like some gel translucent medium for, um, for acrylic paint at the thrift store for like 45 cents. And I combined it with a little bit of red um, acrylic paint and some gold um, Perlex and it made that paint. I might have to make a tutorial on that. But I painted that little heart and other than that, I just popped this up on some foam and I used some of the, um, the dollar store, you know, where Dollar Tree, they've got that um, Baker's Twine for a dollar, three, three types, that's what that is. Some more hearts that I just fussy cut. One looks like three of them are glossy accented, and one I just used that pin, the um, the glue pin, and I wrote over the word love, and then I dropped glitter on it. And this is some old Stampin' Up ribbon that my sister had, and this is just some um, lace that I got at the thrift store. I did use my Tim Holtz tool. It's actually my sister's that she had never used. I had told her it's wonderful. You've got to get this. She bought it and it sat in her craft room for two years until I moved here, but it is not unloved anymore. And, um, I did get my, Joanne had that sale on distress inks and I got some distress inks cause I can't live without them. Um, let's see here. This one, um, just cut out some of those tags. I used the quickie glue pen. Um, to put glue on the love and the heart and some other things and glittered it. And then this is just some trim I had had um, that came over with my sewing stuff because I, I was making doll clothes. So I brought a few of my sewing things and didn't put them in storage. And that is some trim I had from a couple years ago from a doll dress I made for my daughter. So there's that one. This one. Um, homemade Lumiere paint on the heart again, and then you probably can't see it, but I traced it in um, the glue pin and glittered the heart and around the edge of this piece. And then um, I made a little um, rosette with just a gathering stitch and some lace, some eyelet lace, and then this um, little butterfly is one we made with the Mod Melts um, molds, only I used uh, a bronze Sculpey. My sister had a lot of Sculpey stuff left over, so I've been using up her old Sculpey. I bought a couple of those Mod Melts on discount, you know, when, with my, um, the Mod Melt um, things, the molds, and um, with the coupon, and then, and then I've been making those because those are really cool. And then, of course, this is just a cutout from the stamps. Um, this one, um, my sister had a lot of gold pins, and she had the Sakura pins and the glaze pins, all a bunch of collection of the Sakura pins. We both love those. The glaze pins and the um, souffle pins and stuff like that. They were really popular a few years ago, but I don't see people using them as much, but I love, love, love them. 
Anyway, so I stamped it and then I just used a gold pen to trace over the words that were in there. And then this is one of the stamps. It has a wood grain that I stamped with the Tim Holtz vintage ink. And then I put glossy accents on there and then I poured microbeads on that heart. It's really dimensional and kind of cool. Let's see if I can, I don't think you can, yeah, maybe you can see it. It's really, it's really raised and it feels just super neat. I know, again, things that people maybe um, have let go of in their craft room and haven't been using, but oh, I love that. And my sister did have a big thing of um, microbeads. We liked microbeads a lot um, in years past. And then this is just some Stampin' Up! lace that she had um, in her stash. And then this one, the key, I, I had stamped it with the um, Tim Holtz Distress, but then I just took that gold pen and just wrote over where I stamped and it got all kind of golden shiny. This um, has glossy accents on it and then I just stamped that. And then this flower, I did pick up some punches um, because I can't really live without my punches. So I got this little flower punch and I just double layered it and then there's a little pearl that I got out of the dollar spot at Michael's. So those are my envelope embellishments. Hope you like them.